have already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, well we got the Nine of Pentacles and it's with the Ten of Swords. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is a really good card in the tarot. It means that things are going well. Yeah, everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. Now, you got the Nine here, so you're just short of one Pentacle. So that means that things were really great between you and your person in the recent past. But then something happened. Yeah, with this Ten of Swords here, all these swords stabbed into this person's back, the card that's below the word pass. Yeah, something happened. You could have felt betrayed by your person. And it caused you to have a hard time opening up to this connection again or to this person again. Um, for some of you, you um, could have started to detach yourself or you wanted to detach yourself from this person. For some of you, you felt that the connection was ruined. It was a failure. For some of you, you felt defeated by your person. Some kind of betrayal. You no longer felt that the connection or you no longer trust that the connection was stable. But it was good for a while. Yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles here. But then something happened. Yeah, something happened. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the King of Cups, and it's with the Seven of Cups. Now, the, the King of Cups is a great card in the tarot. It's a card above the word present. Whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know that, um, that those two cards are all about love, kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure, pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, whenever you see these two cards in a reading. King of Cups or the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so. Yeah. I'm kidding that this King of Cups, Pisces, is you. You got a lot of love for this person. Yeah, a lot of love with this King of Cups here. Now, it's all the Seven of Cups, so. This is telling me you could have found out. Or you already know that your person is keeping their options open. For some of you, not all of you. Seven of Cups can be about a lot of choices, too many options. And it causes disorganization. It causes confusion. Yeah, but, um... Yeah, you got emotions for this person that's... That you could have found out that you're one of their options. Yeah, they, they, they made you an option. They've made you one of their options. Because there's seven cups there. And this could be what this ten of swords is all about. Yeah, you could have found this out. But... You could be realizing that you, you're, you're kind of in this connection. You're already emotionally invested. And now you're dealing with someone who is, who has been leaving the door open to others in you. Not all of you, Pisces. 
just some of you are dealing with something like this. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Page of Wands, and it's with the Ten of Cups. Now, the Page of Wands is actually a message bearer. Someone reaches out with communication. Someone wants to talk. It can be about messages of love. And this Page of Wands is a card above the word challenge. Page of Wands can be an um, a immature type of energy also. Even though they're reaching out with messages of love. The Page of Wands, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate a student. It can indicate youth. It can indicate immaturity. Or maybe this person is younger than you. Could be by... Could be by a few days, a few months, a few years, and for some of you, could be f a few decades. Yeah. Some of you know who you are. Yeah, this page of wands can be a curious type of energy. For some of you, you're dealing with the uh, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Yeah, this person has a, a lot of passion for you. With this page of wands, you get a lot of passion. But the energy could be the type of person who has a hard time staying focused. This page of wands is a very curious type of energy. Yeah, and this could be why they, this person keeps their, op keeps their options because they just can't stay focused on one thing or one person. But they have a lot of passion for you. And they actually see you like the Ten of Cups. The card below the word challenge. The Ten of Cups is about someone that they feel like they could have it all with. Yeah. Ten of Cups is beautiful. They have emotions for you with all these cups there. Yes, they do. They feel like you're someone that they could end up with. They got love for you. They see you as the end-all be-all. That's what you get with the Ten of Cups. Yeah, happy. You make this person happy. Happy, happy is the Ten of Cups. Happy wife, happy life, happy kids. Happy everything. Happy pets. This is, this is what they feel about you. Yeah, yes they do. They could be reaching out to you if you haven't heard from this person in a while. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the alchemy is. We've got the Three of Pentacles. And it's with the Queen of Swords. Now, this Queen of Swords is a type of person that's fed up. So... You could be fed up with this person, and you could be fed up with their options. You could be fed up with the fact that you found out that they, they're they still keeping you as an option. The Queen of Swords is serious about a decision. The Queen of Swords has her defenses up. She becomes very strict, stern, and detached. So this could be how you're starting to feel. And for a lot of you, you're going to start to say what you really think about this person to their face. In a very forceful, mean way. Yeah. Unless they can come correct. Like the Three of Pentacles comes correct. The Three of Pentacles is the card above the word outcome. Like you see these two people, they're sitting at this man's feet and he's offering them something or he's trying to impress them with something. The Three of Pentacles can be about some benefits. It can be about getting on the same page. Yeah, it can be about teamwork, collaboration. Yeah, this could be what you feel like your person needs to do come correct or come with something because you're about fed up Pisces 
Too many options causes disorganization, it causes confusion in the connection. And for a lot of you, you're ready to detach from this. The person needs to step up to the plate and get on the same page with you. Or you could just cut this person out. The Queen of Swords will cut out. And that's the outcome. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below at the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, I hope I've been saying Pisces during the reading. If I said Aquarius, it's because I just finished Aquarius. Yeah, something tells me I, I kept saying Aquarius, but I'm not sure. But this is a Pisces reading. So, I hope all of you are doing well. I hope everything is going good for all of you. And it's your birthday season. Happy birthday, Pisces. I hope it's a beautiful one for all of you. So, keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So, Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Happy birthday. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.